Jewish leaders in southern Colorado have had a somber and solemn week, denouncing the deadly weekend attacks from Hamas while praying for peace in the Middle East. And now with all-out war raging, some places of worship are increasing security measures. KRDO News Channel 13's Annabelle Childers explains what one Colorado Springs temple is asking from the community. The leaders at this temple say their phones have been constantly ringing since the war started. They're getting calls from congregants who are struggling to process what they're seeing happen in Israel. The news is horrifying on every level, and it's been a challenge. Rabbi Aya Pillsbury is fielding those calls and walking with her community through shared emotions. We're watching things unfold live, which then has its own greater traumatic impact. Pillsbury has loved ones currently in Israel, and so do many who attend the temple. I haven't been able to reach them, which is scary. Jeff Ader, now co-president of the temple, was in Israel 50 years ago when the Yom Kippur War broke out. We lived in bomb shelters for a couple of weeks while the war was going on and went out in the fields with uh, armed guards. And, you know, it was, it was a scary, a scary time. But this is worse, much worse. Watches the violence from Colorado Springs. He's taken back to those vivid memories. I'm very angry and and, and very sad at, at what has happened on both sides of the border. There's a lot of innocent people who don't have any uh, part in this that are suffering because of the atrocities of a terrorist organization. So as they both watch, they're calling for the community here to extend empathy to those in Palestine, Gaza, and Israel, and to be intentional in caring for others. Trying to find ways that we can create more peace, even in our own personal lives, as well as in our local community, if we can't impact the wider world. Don't just sit back there and say it's too bad, but try to help in some way. If you'd like to find ways that you can help and get involved, you can find a list of resources on our website right now at krdo.com. Reporting in Colorado Springs, Annabelle Childers, KRDO, News Channel 13.